All right, here we go. Let's exercise that with the WD-40 in it. And there we go. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage. Today we're working on the engine for our 73 Bronco Stormtrooper. We are going to be reusing the 19 pound injectors for this 347. Now I know, I know, I'm hearing out there, use a 24, use a 30, use a 36, use a 42. Uh, but what I'm doing here actually, now that I've gotten this far into the project is, I'm gonna start with as many of the stock components as I can for this Explorer motor. And then I'm gonna run a baseline on the motor for power, uh, go to a dyno, and then I'm going to at that point switch to a 24 pound injector, and then maybe even switch to a 30 pound injector. I'm not looking for a lot of horsepower from this thing, I just want some torque. And from what I've read, the 19 pound or the 24 pound injector should be fine. But because the computer is programmed for a 19 pound injector, I'm gonna go ahead and reuse these if they work. So what I'm doing today is I'm cleaning these injectors. I've already done a handful of them and I've noticed that 50% of them so far have been stuck. And I have to uh, exercise them, hit them with some WD-40, exercise them again until finally it starts to blow some cleaner. So let me show you how I'm doing this real quick. So there are about a thousand ways to do this. I went ahead and pulled a brand new battery that I'm going to be using for this truck. I've hooked up the positive, I've got the negative here. At the end of these two lines I put just a couple of connectors on the end. And what I'm going to do is take a, a bottle, which we have right here, and put it between the wooden pressure plate remover that I had made for the transmission that we rebuilt. Now it becomes a holder. And I also found a valve for an air conditioning system that came from one of our cars and I drilled a small little hole in the end of it there. Now this will fit on the end of this tube so I have some pressure here with the uh, carb cleaner. It will also fit on the end of this injector. Now if you don't have one of these laying around, which I'm sure you don't, you can also grab a piece of hose and then take a, uh, a small section of heat shrink tube, put it over that and then shrink it, heat shrink it over to the end of the, of the hose here onto whatever piece of hose you have and I think you'll be fine. So at this point what I'm doing is it is a, a tight fit, you want a tight fit you definitely don't want carb cleaner spraying all over your connectors because that's a recipe for disaster. So I'm just uh, spraying this down with some WD-40 and I'm working this O-ring into this plug without damaging it because obviously I don't have another set of these seals so I don't want to go and buy another one. So I'm just gently going to apply pressure until we got it on there and there we are. I'm going to stick this on the end of my straw here. Nice good seal. Stick it in there. Hook up some power here and here. Okay, now I am ready. Now first let's test to see if we got the clickage. Yeah, we do. It's clicking pretty good. So now we're gonna apply some gum out and see if, nope, see it's, it's not spraying. So I'm gonna exercise it a little bit more. Now if I have, if I put, apply too much pressure to this cap, it's just gonna blow off. And with this battery sitting here, it's the last thing I want is a firestorm. So I'm gonna keep exercising it. There we go, I heard something. Come on, you can do it. Okay, this one does not want to open. It's clicking, and nothing's coming out. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull this off. Pull everything off here. And I'm gonna hit it with some WD-40 right down in this right down in the top there and let it soak in for just a minute. I'm also going to take this guy. I know there's a lot of fluid in that. And 
I'm going to run sub WD-40 inside the cap here too. And I'm going to let that sit for a second as well. Hook it back up to my hose. And we're going to try this again. The last few that did this that stuck, that WD-40 got it going right away. All right, here we go. Let's exercise that with the WD-40 in it. And there we go. It's got a pretty decent spray pattern there. Just gonna do a few more. Now I'm gonna hold constant pressure to here and I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. Just gotta make sure we don't blow this cap off. There we go. Keep clicking until it's all out and I'm good. So now this one is unstuck with a good spray pattern and I know this one is a good one so I'm gonna pull that cap off. And then we are going to continue with the other two injectors that I haven't done and then we're gonna be done. Now another way to handle this too is if you have another harness, which I do have actually a second harness, you can cut one of the connectors to the fuel injectors off and use that connector with the pigtail that's coming out and hook it up to the battery and then you have a, a more solid connection than what I made. And uh, we didn't burn down the garage yet, so we're good. Can't even tell you how many vehicles this particular battery's been in, but maybe she's got one more left in her. You know, addition coil up there. What do we got? 11, mm. 9, 12, yeah. over there. The tail lips work. I got rear blinkers. I just don't understand. And those sparkulators just a little bit, you know? All right, fast forward to the future and you see that the fuel rail is installed. The 19 pound injectors are spraying beautifully. One of the notes that I didn't put in there was when I got finished cleaning them, I actually went ahead and put the WD-40 back in there and uh, exercised it a few times just so that we could make sure that the injectors were not going to stick again. So now they're good. I've got fuel lines ready to go, hook up to the new gas tank setup that we're going to put in this and uh, we're ready to go. Once we get this completed, we're gonna do a baseline, gonna go to a down and do a baseline power on it and see if the 19 pound injectors are actually keeping up with the motor. And if they're not, we'll switch to a 24 pound injector, maybe even a little bit bigger than that. But I wanted to see what these 19 pound injectors would do for a mile 347 build. That's a wrap from Alpine Garage. Continue to follow us on the building of this 73 Bronco, and we'll see you in the next video.